There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. The questions and answers used in this game, including those relating to real personalities, have been developed as humorous entertainment for the enjoyment of players and are not intended to be and should not be taken seriously. Welcome to another random DOS game show. And that is a disclaimer and a half. This is Remote Control by MTV. Look at that! Whoa! That music! The best 1989 could offer with PC speaker. So, high-tech expressions developed by Softy Incorporated. Welcome to Remote Control. Please use the number keys or select the number to select the number of contestants. Well, it's just me. Let's go to the yearbook to meet the players. Ah, a college yearbook. Okay, use the left, right cursor keys to turn the page. And, uh, huh, there we go. So we can select, let, let's be Martin. Why? I don't know. What? Why is that? I, I hit enter. All right, it's one of those delayed things. Oh, computers selecting the players, right. Okay, so there we are. Martin, type in a new name or just press return to get on with it. Lonnie. Lonnie, you have control of the board. What board? Press a key to begin. Lonnie, select a channel. Channel 1. Movies. Okay. Before they're edited and interrupted by commercials, some movies actually play in theatres. Whoa! Here's a few questions about the more popular feature films of our times. Ha, ah, 1989. Well, we'll give it a shot. Who could forget her gigantic breasts in Swamp Thing? But we remember her best as Maud's feminist daughter. Name this buxom actress. I, I haven't seen the Swamp Thing. Adrienne Barbo. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so you have to type in the answers. Reruns. The Partridges, The Monsters, or Eddie and His Father. Which family starred in the most half-hour episodes? Uh, let's go with The Partridges. Please type in the answer. The Partridges, because The Monsters wasn't on that long, right? Correct! And I don't know about Eddie and his father, but hey, we got five points for that. So we get to select a channel. Mum's Faves. These questions are about shows only a mother could love. My mother. If Eric Estrada had been prisoner on Hogan's Heroes, he would have kicked some Nazi butt. Which country were they held in? Jane, please type in the answer. France. Oh, come on, Jane. It's not France. Useless, Jane. Useless. You should be ashamed. Lonnie and Marcus. Whoa, Marcus answered that very, very quickly. I, I, I had no choice, no chance there. Like Marcus, you have to give me a second. Ah. <sighs> and he's gone to Mum's faves again. He isn't the sexy do-gooder Eric Estrada is, but I thought it would have been nice to yank Pernell Roberts' stethoscope on which MASH spin-off. And Marcus has jumped in again. So, uh, sorry, I, I, I just can't keep up with Marcus here. He's And he is insisting on continuing. I love the TV show Hello Harry because if you squinted, the star looked just like a Protestant version of Eric Est Why is this guy's obsession with Eric Estrada? Name the actor who destroyed his career by leaving MASH. I, I don't know. Uh, does anybody know? Nobody knows. McLean Stevenson. I haven't seen MASH. I know, I know. Okay, we're going movies this time. Jeff Goldblum's ear fell off while he barfed on donuts in what revolting film? Uh, Fly? The Fly? Correct! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Screw you, Marcus!
Uh, let's go with number six. Mary Tyler Moore. Oh, no. Which one of Mary's pals has dopey enough to marry that chowderhead Ted Baxter? I haven't seen the Mary Tyler Moore show. Marcus got it wrong. That's nice that they, they have the computers mess up. Uh, Lonnie and Jane, you get a chance. Uh, Lonnie? Uh, Steve? <laughs> Be afraid. Be very afraid. Which one of... All right, it's, it's just waiting. Now, nobody knows. It was, of course, Georgette. Uh, so Lonnie Select a Channel. Let's go with number eight. Home Shopping Zone. You're now entering another dimension. One in which you'll be losing ten points, but picking up this valuable prize... You're now entering another dimension. Yeah, that, that's what they said. Press any key to continue. Uh, okay. So, I just lost 10 points for that. In Young Guns, Emilio Estevez plays what? Legendary Outlaw. Uh, uh Legendary Outlaw. Poor Billy the Kid. Yes! <laughs> and Lonnie surges into the lead. So, uh, that's remote control. What is it? It's a little CGA quiz game. I think it was based off some sort of late 80s MTV show. Uh, it's full of random quiz questions that most of you might know if you're into TV and movie and stuff. Is it worth a play? I mean, if you remember that era and you can get around the CGA graphics and limited PC speaker sound, yeah, sure, why not? But everyone else can just look at this as a relic from another time when MTV was actually worth watching. And if you enjoy me playing all kinds of weird and wonderful DOS games, feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos on my channel. I take on all comers. If you like what you see, you can always subscribe, which is more than people have been doing with MTV lately. And if you could bring MTV back from the dead, you're probably one of the people on my patrons list who have tremendous taste. Until next time.